Hello, it's Hannah here from Physic Health Consulting. I know that lots of women, when they come up to menopause and are starting to have problems, turn to HRT for the answer, and very often they get lots of relief from that, and it can even be life-changing. But equally, there are quite a number of women who find themselves struggling with menopause and they can't take the HRT for medical reasons of some kind. Very often it's because they've got or they have had um, some form of cancer which is oestrogen receptive so high levels of oestrogen can actually be very dangerous for them. So what are you supposed to do if you're in this situation? Um, well I just wanted to let you know that herbal medicine as I practice it offers you a very safe and viable option and the way I work is that I make the medicine up especially for you so you are in control of what you're taking and why you're taking it at all times. So let's just say you come and see me, you've got a whole different range of symptoms going on and I will say to you, okay, where should we start with all this? What's bothering you most at the moment? And then I will start to build your prescription around that. And then as time goes by and things start to improve, then we can change the emphasis of the prescription accordingly. So the way it works is that we're trying to work in the background uh, with rebalancing hormones and getting things back up to um, a level where you don't get these symptoms in the first place but also we can work on individual symptoms with individual herbs. So you may have heard of phytoestrogens and you may have heard that actually it's not very safe to take that if you fall into this category where you've had an oestrogen dependent cancer. So this is what I was actually taught 25 years ago when I was training in herbal medicine but in fact more recently what we found is that the phytoestrogens sit on the oestrogen receptors of the cells and they block the real oestrogen from getting in. So if it was me in that situation I wouldn't have a problem with taking herbs that contain phytoestrogens but what I find is that a lot of my patients are still very nervous about taking them and if that's so for you that's absolutely fine. I support you in whatever decision you want to make and we can still um, work on rebalancing hormones but more indirectly. So um, we can use herbs that influence the endocrine system but don't introduce oestrogen. We can also use herbs that work um, more gently via the nervous system um, using um, herbs that support gut and liver clearance, for example. So there's all these different ways that we can still work. There's plenty of options available for you um, and lots of moral support to go alongside as well. So if this resonates with you and you would like to talk about it a little bit more, Feel free to send me a message now, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can get in touch via my website, which is at www.physichealth.uk. Um, book a free call with me. Let's have a chat about what's going on, and we'll come up with a plan of action from there. Okay, I'll see you again soon. Bye.